All right, here's a stupid farm fix for you for your uh, entertainment. Uh, it has to do with my riding lawnmower and welding the pulley to the pulley nut in order because I stripped the the whatever the spline and the pulley. Enjoy. All right, janky farm fixes episode one. So I replaced the spindles and these pulleys not long ago, and. Um, it seems like now, every time I mow my backyard, now granted, my backyard is a little bit of a jungle and I have dogs and they carry toys and stuff out there and then I end up running them over. And then, uh, so it's a little bit hard on these things, but uh, so you can see that the pulley moves and the spindle moves at a different rate. Like I can turn this and the pulley doesn't move. So what happened was is that the pulley, well, the belt was turning and the, the blade stopped and it ripped all the little teeth uh, in the pulley and or the spindle. And so now they spin independent of each other. Um, so what I'm going to do, and I already did this once, is I, I replaced this pulley thinking, oh, well, maybe I just got really cheap pulleys. Uh, no, now this happened again. Just so I can keep going pretty much today and for a while longer, I'm going to go in and sand this on two sides and I'm going to tack weld this bolt, this nut, onto the pulley and that way this won't happen again assuming that the pull, you know, the, the, uh, the bolt doesn't back off. Now if I ever need to take this apart I can cut the tacks and then I can disassemble everything again or I could take the bolt and the pulley off kind of simultaneously but I'm not sure, um, hopefully I don't have to do that in, in the near future. So uh, yeah, farm tech or Jerry rigging or uh, janky fixes uh, episode one here we go so first step is I'm gonna go ahead right where these um, holes are here is where I'm gonna basically gonna mark as my 90 degree points and I'm gonna sand this down and try to sand the, the bolt down because there's zinc plating I'll do the other th uh, on the other side and then uh, I'll bring the welder out and tack them up so here's an example of what happened to another pulley that I had actually the first time around there's no teeth in here there's supposed to be teeth so I'd actually replace this pulley with the one that's on it, and uh, the same thing happened. So I'm like, screw it, I'm just going to weld it. There you go, I used uh, this whatever die grinder, 90 degree grinder, whatever it is, uh, to take the paint off. And I've already started stretching my ground. Here's some of the toys I picked up out of the yard. So I can get this in here. I think I'm going to try to grind and ground it up in here if I have enough excess to the weld and then uh, uh, and there then she is up. she's welded up that's pretty warm um, a little worried about melting the belt or damaging it so uh, what I'll do is I might take a little bit of cold water and it's hard to tell but oh, it's hard to spin let's see if I can spin the there you, go. you can see the weld on the other side. And that's it. That should be sufficient. Uh, it's a little bit more than a tack weld. It's a pretty good, decent sized actual weld. But, you know, uh, when you're welding onto something really heavy, well, you can see I melted the uh, nylock portion off. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, these farm fixes are more for reference only. Do at your own risk. Uh, you know, I can't be liable for anything that happens to the equipment or because you welded it up. Uh, it's just something I'm doing to keep going and uh, I hope you find it kind of entertaining. It's kind of stupid, but you know, sometimes it's, it's what people do and now there's a story at least.